Hello everyone, this is Karen Brazo from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art here again. Um, I have approximately, I don't know, 15, 20 paints uh, left over from different projects and uh, when I have paint left over then that means that it's time to spin some records because as most of you who follow me would know that I am currently um, trying to get a hundred uh, nylon records poured actually in the many many different ways without really totally thinking about it. Basically just take out all my paints once a week that I have left over and I just make a whole bunch of uh, of records, nylon record uh, pours. So um, I've got these really cute little pots here. Uh, it's actually uh, my favorite yogurt that I buy and they come in little glass jars and are actually perfect to cover a whole um, record. So um, I'm going to start using those today and they wash uh, really well as well so I can reuse them which is great. Okay, so um, I really want to try and work on, uh, there's a, one of my themes is actually the <coughs> uh, like a red and white theme, which ends up being uh, pink and white, really. So I'm going to do a couple of those records, or at least one anyway, at this time. So I'm just throwing in some red, some white, and I actually have a really light... Uh, actually, I should probably put that up here so you can see what I'm doing. So I put in some white, I put in some red, so I'm putting in some pink here. Okay, I might actually throw in some, maybe a little bit of silver in here, or some gray, some light gray here. Okay. I'm not going to put any silicone or anything in there. It's just going to go, actually, I'd like to cut through that a little bit first through it a little bit with a stick here. Okay. Great. So I have about 20 records so far that are done. And as I mentioned, I want to do 100, so I'm not sure how many we're going to do today. I'm just going to keep going until I, I've used up most of my uh, extra paint here. little pink record here. Okay. Now, let's see. I think I'll do a couple of This one we're going to go with a bit of white. I want a little bit of silicone in there. Some brown. Some 
burnt umber. A little bit of gold in here. Actually, that might be it for that. A little bit more silicone. Give that a little bit of a stir, a shake, I should say. This one's going to need a little bit more paint on the edge, actually. Just mixing a little bit more of the same colors here. going to go on top to add some more darker colors in here. Okay, that'll add a bit of interest there. one. I think I'm going to throw in some black. Brown. Oh, that was a big clump. Some of this leftover gold, maybe. Maybe a little bit of a darker yellow here. Let's see what that's going to give us. First, I think I'm going to do a bit of tipping before.
Looks like there's a little baby alien here sitting in the middle of it. See that? <laughs> uh, kind of a weird person kind of sitting there in the middle. Really neat. They keep that one the way it is, I think. Okay, so now we're going to get into some brighter, brighter colors. Let's get rid of some of my brighter color paint that I have. Okay, let's go with some primaries. I'm going to go with some blue here. Some white. Some red. Great. Okay. Primary color is so awesome. Okay, so now let that look. Sure, the edges are done on this thing. It's good. Well, that's kind of different, isn't it? Neat. Let's see if we can make a water kind of aqua thing going here.
Okay, let's try that. Okay, nice. My edges are covered here. Yeah, that's very cool. Nice. Sorry about the pauses in between here, but I actually have to take my records to another room to dry. Okay. Now what are we doing? Let's see. I think I'm going to go with a black and white theme. some black, white, and some red. White. Red. Black. Maybe. Silver. Okay. Let's try that. 